CZ of Binance has intervened in the Terra Luna situation. We have some really big updates about that. And we're also going to cover some really important crypto news you guys need to be aware of, hacking attacks. And I'll also give you guys a bit of an update about Coinbase as well. So I'll give you guys my opinion on Coinbase. Coinbase says if it goes bankrupt, it might seize users' crypto. So I'll give you guys my opinion on that. And we're also going to talk about the crypto prices today. What's happening with the crypto prices? Is the crypto bubbles map, is that broken right now? Or is Luna rebounding in price? We'll have a chat about that. And as always, this is not financial advice, but I hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far. And let's kick it off with the big updates from Duquan, from Terra Luna. And we have had intervention from the Binance CEO himself, CZ. So he's jumped into the scene and he says right here, Many people don't get this point. If we didn't push the issue, the Terra blockchain may still be in halted mode or worse with super minting. So CZ himself has taken the initiative in this situation. He was also in a no phone meeting for two hours and he says here, at least there is progress. Lunar blockchain resumed, no more minting and deposits, withdrawals and trading resumed. Trading is important for existing holders. Please do not buy a coin. Just because trading is on, do your own research, extreme caution. So he's referring to Luna, he's referring to Terra, he's referring to USD right now. So there's trading possibly active on Binance. Uh, for people, what they want to do with their crypto, do they want to trade it to another asset class? What is happening right there? But there has definitely been some interesting things right happening. And uh, the micro scale of the Terra Luna price, according to Coin Market Cap right now, it's actually going up a little bit. Uh, it's still in the minuscule levels, uh, but CZ actually has some more updates right here, which are important. He says right here, the design flaw, minting coins, printing money does not create value. It just dilutes the existing coin holders. Incentives doesn't create value. It's just a bootstrap mechanism, build products people use. So what is he really saying here, guys? So he's saying in cryptocurrency, sometimes, you know, if you're minting lots of coins or you have other incentives built into a cryptocurrency, the real driver of a price of a cryptocurrency, so whether the price of that crypto is going to go up, it's something we talk about a lot on the channel it's going to come down to the word utility okay so utility use case why do people need to buy the cryptocurrency what benefits do they get from holding the cryptocurrency you guys know so bnb coin the reason this one changed from about 20 from about 20 bucks okay and it was trading at like two dollars back in the day one dollar the reason this graph changed it wasn't because of magic it's because of what cz is talking about so now that you hold bnb coin that gives you the opportunity to then buy into other tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. So there's a whole use, there's a whole added extra use function behind it. And again, the better the Binance Smart Chain gets, the higher the value in the BNB coin. And uh, that's what it comes down to. So utility at the end of the day, does the crypto provide exclusive access for you to get into an airdrop? Does it give you access into a pre-sale? Is it part of a new blockchain? Is it a metaverse project where you can potentially, you know, buy up land in a metaverse, rent real estate? That is is the type of utility the value that he's talking about right here so sometimes cryptos they will have high you know rewards but you, again at the end of the day fundamentally cryptocurrency if it is not a meme coin like your doge coins and it's not just a community coin it will come down to utility so that is what he's saying right there and he also says right here you can't mint your way out of bankruptcy all the time so what was luna doing guys they were going crazy with the printer and this is why the price of luna dropped so much is because they kept minting so much terror and that diluted the value of this crypto so this really sunk the titanic so to speak going from 116 dollars down to basically nothing it's because they printed out so much of this this really devalued the dollar and this is actually a great metaphor for most national currencies out there and i do have the us debt clock and uh you know if you want to become a politician in life all you have to do is spend money that you don't have so you just you just go into debt you just print money that you don't have and you spend it on things you cannot afford and that is what a lot of countries out there are doing so the us government the Australian government, very talented at spending lots of money. And uh, that is actually what happened with Luna USD. And this is why people are actually interested in cryptocurrency. So if you're an OG person who loves crypto because of OG rules, one reason people got into cryptocurrency is because with fiat currency, you don't really have a choice, okay? Because they keep minting out lots and lots of currency, okay? So this minting never stops for the US government. It never stops for a lot of governments out there. And uh, your average citizen 
you know, your average person in those countries, they're the ones who get penalized by this the most because you don't have access to that extra money that's getting printed out. That goes to that goes to the US government, that goes to big powerful lobbying groups. And we also have that update from Duquan as well about what his plans are for Terra Luna. And I'll break it down really simply for you guys. So Duquan has released a big plan to revive the Terra ecosystem so we'll be covering this in another video but to sum it up you know if terra luna is to survive it is going to come down to two things mainly but one thing most importantly in the crypto space and i talk about it a lot it's actually the community of terror so community of terror that uh helps it get to up to 116 dollars if the community does get behind the revival plan from duquan it does have a chance i'm not going to say it's a high chance or anything like that but i will say there is a chance because in cryptocurrency you know if you don't have a community behind your cryptocurrency especially cryptos like bitcoin it wouldn't be worth anything so the reason bitcoin even has went up to you know sixty seven thousand dollars nearly seventy thousand dollars potentially go up to a hundred thousand dollars one day again not financial advice it, but it is because of the community and you have to remember you know bitcoin Bitcoin got fudded for so long as a Ponzi scheme, as a scam coin and things like that for so many years. But again, who participated in cryptocurrency? Who participated in Bitcoin? The community and the community stuck around and uh, more and more as and as more people get involved in the community of Bitcoin and crypto, the price of Bitcoin actually goes up. So again, community is super important in the crypto space. And guys, we have some other important updates to be aware of as well in crypto today. So emergency security warning, multiple sites including coin gecko seem to be compromised be careful while making any transactions so this is probably referring to metamask if you have metamask on your computer and you're visiting coin gecko and you're getting funny funny pop-ups like this one right here don't allow that to connect to your metamask because that's going to try and steal all your crypto out of your metamask guys so most people who lose their cryptocurrency they connect to the wrong account or they they connect to the what they connect to the wrong website and uh, malicious actors, unfortunately, still siphon away all their crypto as well. So Spirit Swap is another one uh, that's on Phantom Chain that looks to be compromised as well. So watch out for that. And uh, we do also have an update about uh, Coinbase. So Coinbase is saying if it goes bankrupt, it might seize users' crypto. So I did read through that quarterly report from Coinbase. That statement is in there. And uh, it did say that line that Coinbase added that in the event of bankruptcy, its, its users would become general unsecured creditors and the crypto assets we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings. And if we do bring out this Coinbase share price right now, you guys can see the share price has dropped a lot. And uh, look, I won't specifically comment on Coinbase, but I will say, you know, in cryptocurrency, if you do want to play it safe, you can get yourself like an external wallet, a hardware wallet, like a ledger, or there's other brands out there. Generally, these are pretty safe and uh, you can store your crypto on that. It obviously, you know, it makes, it might make the trading process a little bit slower because you have to then send your crypto to a centralized exchange if you want to do trades on a centralized exchange. Uh, but that is one thing you can do. There have been instances of a crypto exchanges either getting hacked or going bankrupt in the past. And I'm not saying that's going to happen to Coinbase. Crypto exchanges getting hacked is generally rare or going bankrupt. Uh, if it's a good crypto exchange is generally rare, so to speak. And uh, to give you guys some real examples, though, I was back in the crypto market when uh, this one went down. It's called the BitGrail currency hack. And a lot of people were trying to find the mythical nano or XRB coin, which was uh, the next Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> and you had to go to this crypto exchange called BitGrail to uh, go find that coin and uh and at the time I actually had i actually had bitcoin on that exchange i was lucky enough to trade my bitcoin off off that exchange but i did have a friend who lost some significant bitcoin on uh, that exchange and also this year if you've been following the other updates you've seen other crypto exchanges like bitmark get hacked and so generally if you do keep it in some type of a hardware wallet external wallet that is the safest practice but again from a practical point of view it can make the process of trading cryptos a little bit slower you can also keep your crypto in like a metamask account as well on your computer that is relatively safe uh on the basis you do not click any malicious links so you've got to be watching out for those malicious links those malicious websites be very careful what you click on in cryptocurrency and uh things like that and uh you know this is not a sponsored mention of ledger wallet but i just i have used ledger wallet in the past that is some advice that i do myself and uh guys let's check out the crypto
crypto prices today. And uh, what is going on with the crypto bubbles chart? Is Luna taking over? I think there's some funny things happening with the Luna price right now. So I'm not sure if that's an exact anomaly. I know the price has rebounded a little bit based on Duquan's uh, revival plan right there. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but overall, you know, the crypto market is still a bit rocky. A lot of cryptos are down today. And if we do take a look at the Bitcoin price right now, guys, there is a battle around this $30,000 level. So we did see a nice rebound of our Bitcoin above $30,000. You guys can see it here. It dropped down to $26,000. Uh, it did rebound above $30,000. It was tracking pretty well uh, yesterday, but it has recently dropped again a little bit down to $29,300. But again, you know, I'm a long-term believer in cryptocurrency. So I don't think it's a matter of weeks. I think it's a matter of years. And it's going to be interesting to see where we are three, five years from now. And uh, hopefully the crypto market continues to go up. That is what I'm hoping for. If you guys like Crypto Zeus, you guys can follow me over on Twitter. You can also join up to the Patreon if you want. But thanks for watching the video. Have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.